hi guys welcome back to my channel and today you guys I'm gonna show you how you can reuse a curtain to actually make yourself a beautiful daily now I made three I made one for the top of the dresser and I made two smaller ones to go on the bedside tables now you guys this project is very very simple and easy so you guys let's get into it I'm gonna show you how to make these dailies okay guys so these are the things that you're going to need to create this daily now I have two little strips here now these are just going to be going in the middle of these now you guys the measurement of this is going to be based on whatever it is that you're going to be putting the daily on so here I have mine however what you're gonna be doing the pieces that are gonna be in the middle these are I do mine four inches wide so whatever the length here that you're going to be cutting it's going to be at least 10 inches or 12 inches smaller than what the actual length of the place is going to be that is because you're going to be putting in these and each of them are four so that is going to be eight inches however you know you're going to lose lose a few inches off because uh, for the allowance so you're gonna lose at least an inch or an inch and a half there because of the allowance I'm gonna be surging or zigzagging now when you do that you're also gonna be having these now this is a four inch strip and all I'm going to be doing is to fold it like this fold it in two and then stitch coming down and then I'm gonna press it now this is going to give you two inches wide however you're also going to lose half inch there and this is why I said 10 inches or 12 inches um you're gonna have to take off of this whatever you're cutting because you're going to make up back for the the length of the particular thing that you're going to be putting on when you add back each of these and this is going right around the whole entire edge so this is what it's going to look like so you're gonna when once it's um stitch together fold over and stitch together and press this is what it's going to look like and then you're just gonna be gathering all of this to get that little um puffy thing going down you can press it a little bit better if you want it to lay down really really flat i think i'm gonna go and press this a little bit more but this is what you're gonna be doing and then you're gonna do it going all the way around the thing but what you're gonna do to get these pieces in is that you're gonna be measuring this you're gonna be folding this into three equal parts so you're just gonna take that fold it into three equal parts and then these are the pieces that are going to be connecting the three equal parts together once you do that you're gonna find that you're going to be at least about four inches or three and a half inches or something like that short and then when you put these on remember these are like two inches um so you're going to make up back for the desired length that you want for the particular thing so i'm just gonna go ahead fold mine into three equal parts and then I'm going to be joining these pieces onto the three equal parts but here I have two smaller parts now these are for the side tables so I'm making daily again for the dresser and the two side tables so I just have these and I'm just going to be doing the same thing with this and going all the way around the whole entire thing just um I don't want it to be too puffy so I probably not I probably won't curve it up too much but I really like this because it, it's it's a, it's a nice um feel to it so I'm going to be um going all the way around both pieces for the two side tables and for the dresser okay guys so I just went ahead and cut the long part in three equal parts so all I'm gonna do is just to take these and actually put them right in the middle so that is how they're going to be joined together so this is what it's going to look like when they are joined up now there's another thing that I want to show you guys and this is this you see when you're gonna be doing the length from here to here okay so the top of my dress all right it is 18 inches wide however this is actually 14 inches now these pieces as I told you 
these are 2 inches wide so you're going to get back the 18 inches however you're going to lose half inch allowance at the top and half inch allowance at the bottom now that is going to take you down to 17 inches now this is the way how i want it i don't want when it goes on the dresser it is like right on the rim i want it to be just a little bit shorter so it actually sits right into it so that is what i'm gonna be doing and you guys i just went around and the part that is going to go all around it as you can see it's a lot i just stitched it together and pressed it down so it lays flat and i also um went ahead and pressed these ones for the smaller ones as well so you guys i'm just gonna go and just put all of the pieces going around just gather gather the strips going all the way around these small ones and then i'm going to be joining this part for the big ones together but what i'm going to do is join up all of these first before i put on that and let you guys see how it's going to look when it's joined together okay guys so this is what it's going to be looking like once they're joined together so that is it so what i'm gonna do now is to get all of this going all the way around so you're gonna get that um puffy look going right around the edges so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm also gonna do the same thing to the smaller one for the side tables Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. So you see you have the frill going around the edges. Now the next thing to do would be to turn it over on the wrong side and to zigzag all of that. Or if you have a serger, you serge all of that. Once you finish serging, you're going to turn it back onto the right, put it underneath the sewing machine and you're going to get a flat stitch going right along the rim. Now this will hold it down this way so you're going to have it laying flat. So that is the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine. Okay guys, so this is what the finished product would look like once you flat stitch on the edge like that. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to do the smaller ones and then I'll let you guys see the finished product. Okay guys, so this is what they look like when it's finished. So this is the finished product. So yeah. So this is the longer one and you can see just how it looks. And you see how this one falls? It doesn't fall and hang off. And this is why I said I didn't want it to be too um, close on the edge and at the same time at the same at this edge as well. And the smaller one. See you have that going around. Right. So this is another one that I made as well. 
but this time I used lace around this one so here I have another one and also I have for the bedside table as well thank you guys very much for joining me and you can join me again on another DIY project alright you guys papers or any other documents in you have another section here and you just put them on inside here and then you have the section where the laptop actually goes in which is inside here